impressive views on this road. That giant rock mountain. Snoqualmie Falls is over there. But I am not stopping till I get out of this state. I am not stopping till I know. And that's it. <laughs> it's beautiful, but I've had enough of Washington for for now. Ah! Well, that was bumpy. Sorry about the road ride, guys. I'm Sound judgmental. Look at that gorgeous barn. At, well, you may not see that dot out there. It's an old barn. I'm not judgmental. I'll say it again. <laughs> but you can see um, why I don't live in eastern Washington. This ranger, he's checking it out too. It's just, you know, sorry, ranger. Ranger jumps off the seat when I go over the speed, the little bumps, the little, the bumpies on the side of the road that warn you you leave in the road. <laughs> this is just, you know, look at that. So interesting. You know, just going down the road. undergrowth in Salal, like in northern, or like in western Washington. It's more like northern California, but they probably do not want to think they're like northern California. What do you think they're doing in California? It's really beautiful. I can take the kayak off the back and just drag it down to the water, 10 feet, 15 feet. I would like to have parked closer to my table, but the ground is really unlevel here. We are at Big Arm Campground. Sun's starting to go down a little. And so it's shining on the mountains across, across the lake from me. Uh, notice Ranger's behind me, but he's not hiding in the camper. He's not so afraid of the fire that he won't come out. That's an upgrade. Um, Foxy was so afraid of the fire, not that I could ever upgrade Foxy. Now the light's shining on the hills across the way. Um, you kind of get a glimpse of the hills, but look at the clouds. I'm wondering if I can get a sundown picture bouncing off those clouds when it starts to sunset. Um, you know... I don't know if what I'm doing seems like just a lonely old lady to you guys, but I've never been so at peace as right now. I mean, I'm going to meet up with all the friends. I'm going to be in Southern Montana in a few days with a few couple of friends, and then a couple live down there. We're going to go see down by Idaho. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to make the rounds, but this few days here at the lake. It's just what I needed before I headed out. It's just what I needed. Oh my God, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> I don't know if Ranger agrees. Hi, Ranger. You're a pretty boy. Yeah, you know you're a pretty boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let this puppy burn down. No more wood for it. I'm just going to let it burn down. No, Jack, I will not melt my boots this time. Maybe. <laughs> Like 
we got a little bit of that sunset. Some friends I met in Arizona came up to visit me, yeah, all the way from Idaho. Brought their daughter, and they were in their C-class motorhome. Just stayed one night, and then had to go back to work. So, wow. It was amazing. <laughs> I want to introduce myself to some of you who haven't met us. This is Homer, my box truck. Uh, Homer, because he's my home. It says Home Solutions on the side because it was stealth and I could park in town anywhere just about and look like I'm working on somebody's house. Started traveling, working on it. I'm in Montana right now at Flathead Lake. I saw a person named Matt at Van Life Plus on YouTube. His family came down here and I watched that and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta see that place. So anyway, I was going down to Arizona anyway, but this time I decided to go across the top a little bit to Montana from Washington and then head, then head down. So this is the back of Homer. He's got the kayak and the bike down there. Um, when the deck is up, I got grass on the deck, got a little awning, which I also saw in Van Life Plus. Uh, he has one on his van. And I thought, well, that would work great on my deck. This is the back wall, my little cabin wall. And there's a, well, you can't really see it good, but there's a cedar tongue and groove door. It's a pocket door, so it just slides shut. And then the boat clamps right on there, and there's little buckles. You just unlock the buckles and drop it and pull it down to the water. And you could camp. Oh my gosh, I know I've done this already, but look at this. I've camped a few feet from the water. I can drag it right down, and all the campsites here, a lot of the campsites here at Big Arm Campground are like this. You just park right on the water. So there's the back deck. Um, <laughs> my window, I got a window when the deck is down. I don't when it's closed, but I do have a roof vent or a fantastic fan roof vent and a sailboat hatch. <laughs> so the sailboat hatch, I can climb on my bed and climb up onto the hatch and clean my solar panels. Got 300 watts on the roof. This is a new thing. My toolbox. My son Matt welded up, made it, welded it up there, um, and I can keep my uh, shore power extension cord, a big fat one, a uh, hose for water, uh, two toolboxes, my socket set, and all my power tools all fit in there. All the power tools that it took to build this thing. Although, you know, Matt used his. <laughs> There's Home Solutions. And that's why he's Homer, you know, because he's Home Solutions and he's my home. But I didn't think to mention when I was on this other side. And I should. Yeah, he's kind of old. You can see the front of him. He's a 99 Chevy Express cutaway. It's called a cutaway. So it's a 3500. But down there, I built in a generator. And uh, all I do is I start it and I pull a house plug down and plug it into it. And so I can charge everything if I, it's not charging by the sun. I got 300 on the roof. And then this is my propane tanks in that box. So it's all set up. And there's a gray tank underneath. And like I said, the boat's under there. When I raise up the deck, the boat just goes right up against the back. And then I put a couple of straps on it just to make sure it's safe. And then the bike rack, which is sitting down here. I have to take the bike rack off to drop the deck. Well worth the time and energy. Anyway, uh, anyway, this is Flat Arm Lake. It's beautiful. I'm loving this place. Oh, and it's natural. It's an all-natural lake, and it's over 100 miles of shoreline. Bunch of campgrounds, resorts, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I am from out of Montana, so it's cost me $24 a night to stay here. And usually I boondock. I don't stay at campgrounds. But I just had to do this. I mean, look at it. 
<laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, okay, I'm signing off. I just wanted to do this. <laughs> Bye. Coolest thing ever happened. My friends from Arizona came to visit. John, Sandy, and Aria just showed up out of the blue. Surprised me. From southern Idaho, they came to see me. Wow. On the boat. <laughs> okay. Oops, stay on. Stay on. Okay. Get down. There you go. There you go. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. Stay right there. There's mommy. You did good first time. Just try not to be so scared, okay? Thank you.
it's cold outside. It's 50s. It's not like freezing. There's a breeze. And I'm on a lake, so it's a little cool. I'm still at uh, Flathead Lake. But I uh, needed some comfort food, so I'm, I don't usually cook on, on the stove. So I've got some onions, uh, so they're translucent, just a little bit of browning the onions, and carrots. And I'm making kielbasa and cabbage. It's like corned beef and cabbage, but I use kielbasa because it's uh, quicker. <laughs> you can throw all this stuff together and just let it simmer, and then I have a hot, fresh, healthy soup. I'm not going to use a whole head of cabbage. So if I did, I'd have a meal for tomorrow, too. But. and let it all simmer together. I'll cook together until the potatoes were done, which meant everything's done. And then take the potatoes, put them in the bottom of a bowl, smash them up, put butter on them, and then put all the cabbage and toppings on top. That's how the kids grew up eating it. Um, but I don't do potatoes now. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But, uh, Kabasi is still meat, so I can still do that. Two more. Yeah, see, this is this is lunchtime right now that I'm cooking. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and so I can have a bowl of this for lunch, and then I can heat up the rest for dinner. 
classy for you too, buddy. You can't bring your legs. Anything hot dog. Just refrigerator where my cheese, mayo, condiments, whatever that, that goes. And this is going to sit here and simmer. Oh, the noise in the background. I've got the generator running. I'm not getting a lot of sunlight now. I'm in the trees. So I started the generator to charge up my batteries, <laughs> my house batteries. Um, they were at 78%. I'm looking for the phone. You're on the phone. I mean, I'm filming on you. So I'm looking at the phone so I can see what percentage I'm at now. And you're there filming, so I can't. <laughs> That's like, you know, looking for the phone when you got it in your hand. It's one of those things. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit simmer. Normally I don't use uh, chicken stock either. But I'm using chicken stock because I have it. I've got to get the bones out of that and then I'll baggy it up and a little bit at a time I'll put it on Ranger's food because he's picky and spoiled. Because of me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut off the filming until this is bit done. You don't need to watch it cook. Give you a glimpse of what's simmering here. Keep you out of the steam. That's just the I'm not good at this, okay? I'm not Matthew on Red Light Plus, that's for sure. He's a pro. This is fun, though. This is fun, right? Anyway, that's what, kind of what it looks like. It's got a little more simmering to do, so this part of the cabbage is softer. And that's enough for a couple of meals. girl. Hi, Sasha. You're a pretty girl. There's your pretty girl. Yes, she is. Ranger, come here. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Were they together? She's still wagging her tail like she wants to play. Yeah, I called him and she came, she came down and he didn't. He's like... <laughs> evening. It's supposed to rain around 6. I'm still at Flathead Lake for one more night. I have almost everything. That's my chair and dog's bed. Everything almost packed up. 
ready to go. So I just have to make my coffee and drive out in the morning. Oh, it's going to be hard to leave this place, but man, I can't wait to see my friends. Uh, down in the southern part of Montana are a couple of friends. I'm going to meet up with them, and then tomorrow, Saturday, and then Tuesday, we're going to head uh, farther south. Utah, for sure. Um, check out some sites, and then, you know, when it's cooled off down in the desert, we'll head down there. Bike's packed up. I got it cover on, but its skirts are lifted because my rear view camera is down there. <laughs> the boat strapped in and strapped on. I got two new stickers on my door. I don't know if you can see them. I just added Montana and Idaho to my map. Yay! Ranger, we went for a ride earlier on the bike and she he trotted along with me. He's been pretty much sleeping under the camper since then. I don't think I've worn him out. He's a young dog, but it wasn't that long of a ride. I got a towel drying out. I hope I don't forget it in the morning. Uh, okay. So, you know, this is goodbye to this beautiful spot. I'm not really good with these selfie sticks. I don't like selfies, so I never got never used one. Find my helping log, help me get in and out of my kayak. Hope there's one everywhere I go, because you know what? <laughs> I'm getting too fat and old for this shit. Stuff. Stuff stuff. Stuff. Alright. Alright. Ready to hit the road in the morning. Signing off again. Well, look who I met in Southern Montana. Met up with him, Rhonda, and John, Sandy, and Aria showed up from uh, Idaho, too. And we were in Wyoming checking out Mesa Falls. It is so good to be back with my, the old crew again and my best buddy. All right, everybody, uh, thumbs up, <laughs> comment if you can, join the group. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.